Hey guys, it's Dave Frederick with this week's Leaders Tip. You know, right now it's in the fall and I am a big college football fan. My team is Northwestern Wildcats. We're having a great year. I'm thrilled. Uh, but in the process of watching college football, I get to watch a lot of games. I was watching one recently where it was one of those exciting games. It's back and forth and back and forth and, you know, who's going to win? And, and the announcer kept saying, you know, the team that's going to win this game is a team that has the will to win. And he used that phrase several times. Well, afterwards, I was watching the, the post-game interview with the coaches, and one of the coaches was asked about that. You know, did you win because you had the will to win? Something like that. And he just kind of shook his head and said, no. You understand, the will to win is not that big a deal. At this level, everybody has the will to win. Champions are those who have the will to prepare to win. And he said a couple of times, champions have the will to prepare to win. And that really struck me. He said, you know, those are the guys who put in the time Monday through Friday so on game day they can do their best. They put in the time studying the film and, and working out in the weight room and, and running their drills and really practicing to be their best. They put the time in and work hard then so that in game time they can step up and, and win. Now, it's interesting because studies have shown that the most successful people in any field, be it sports or business or the arts or some other area, are the ones who put in the most time in their preparation. If they're giving a speech or a talk, they put more time into developing their content, more time into developing how they're going to say what they want to say, and more time into practicing their speech so when they give it, it's a home run. They put more time into preparing for meetings so they come in knowing what the issues are and knowing what the options are so that they can make better decisions. And the end result of that is that the quality of their work is significantly better than those who don't prepare or spend less time in preparation, or especially better than those who just kind of wing it. Now, it's, that kind of preparation increases the quality of what people do, but it's not easy. It's harder work, and it's not as exciting. It's never as exciting to prepare for the talk as it is to give it. It's never as exciting to, to work in the practice as it is to play in the game. But it makes all the difference in the results. Okay, it takes more time, but it's worth it if you want to be successful. The quality of what you do will improve. If you want to be successful, take the time to prepare well. Champions have the will to prepare to win, not just the will to win.